Hi guys! I apologise for the lighting first and foremost because it is not the nicest weather outside today um, and I rely on natural light and editing here and there so um, I wanted to film it today because if I don't get it filmed today I will just put it off again for ages. Today I have seen videos like this going around quite a lot on YouTube which is with how cruel is your makeup bag which I think Lena from Just Kiss My Frog started um, but I myself don't need to change anything in my makeup bag because I did that quite a while ago um, so all of my makeup I use is cruelty free. I wanted to use this video to spread awareness and to show you how easy it is to be cruelty free and I myself am vegetarian but I also see the importance of being cruelty free because why test on animals when it's so unnecessary? It didn't take particularly long to go cruelty free I just kind of did it once things ran out like my foundation I think I used to use the L'Oreal one um, and once that ran out I replaced it with like the NYX one for example or at the moment I'm using Soap and Glory so yeah and they're all the uh, they're like the same price as the non cruelty free and just as good so yeah I thought I would show you some products that I use on all my face and stuff and whilst in there I want to cover like skincare and hair dye and everything like that as well firstly I wanted to cover hair dye because I often get these because they seem to always be on and off at the moment I, or the last time I bought them they were like two for six pounds or something which is the same price as like or no cheaper than like L'Oreal. I use box dyes more often than not. I have not had my hair coloured with the hairdressers in a long time. This is the Superdrug own brand and people might get put off by this because it is fairly cheap. Um, it's cruelty free. It has all of Superdrug's own brand is cruelty free. So it has like the little bunny bear colour vibrance one um, in plum passion for those of you who are curious. I have a brownie purpley ready colour on my hair. Hand cream wise I've been using the Sainsbury's one which is also cruelty free um, and this is the Sainsbury's own brand and it's a hand and nail cream. Skincare I use micellar water. Um, I used to use the Garnier one but I'm pretty sure Garnier could test on animals so I replaced that with the Superdrug own brand one, their micellar water and I also got one, a different one, I can't remember what the brand was, um, which was also cruelty free which made me happy. So a bit iffy with a couple of things because I'm using still I'm using Max Paint Pot in Painterly um, which I bought last year and it hasn't run out yet so I don't know once it once it's run out whether or not I will repurchase it because Mac are a little bit iffy because they do test on animals in China um, but they don't test on them over here so they're a little bit like I don't know how I feel about it I've not bought Mac in quite a long time but um, I still am using the stuff that I have because it just seems wasteful to throw stuff away. Um, so like lipsticks and um, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Foundation wise, I use one heck of a blot all day liquid to powder foundation by Sip and Glory. This is a really cheap powder. This is MUA their powder because they picked it up because it was really cheap and I was just running low. The NYX highlighting palette. Um, all of NYX is cruelty free and it's so good quality. I use the Sip and Glory Super Cat liner and the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. It's the NYX Powder Blush. I got this from TK Maxx, it was really cheap. Um, yeah, that's good. Next, um, which is a clothing shop, all their makeup is quality free. Um, they have a little bunny, which was a really good present surprise because I got bought this for my birthday the year before last and it's a nice eyeshadow palette. Revolution is quality free. The Kick-Ass Concealer by Soap and Glory, which is so good. Um, it comes with a little powder and then underneath it's like the under eye and the facial concealer. Um, NYX eyebrow pencil, because a lot of this is NYX. This is a BB cream by Body Shop um, which I use as well if I'm not feeling foundation. Can Fast by Soap and Glory for my mascara and I also have been using Stacked which is pretty much run out by NYX. I have um, the NYX Golden Horizons which I use every day um, which is an eyeshadow palette which is gorgeous, that's my phone just went off. Um, so yeah I think that's about it really, I just kind of wanted to just spread how, oh wait, literally everything I use is cruelty free. This is cruelty free. Um, this is my heat protectant spray. My phone's going off, I'm sorry. It's just, I wanted to just show you how easy it is and just to be a bit more mindful. Like I always used to, without even thinking about it, I used to just buy Rimmel or, um, oh, I also use lots of like, collection as well. Where has that gone? I use the collection bronzer. I used to use that concealer. It's all really like good quality and also really good price but it's not expensive it's actually probably cheaper like L'Oreal um, they test on animals and their parent companies test on animals and they are like quite a lot more expensive than like cruelty free stuff so yes 
Um, and also a lot of the time they have offers on, like for example my hair dye. And Body Shop always have offers on. Um, people think Body Shop is expensive, but literally I get emails all the time, like 40% off sale, for example. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to spread this in meshes, the message and spread importance of how we have to be a little bit more mindful. Like People could say like, oh it's not going to stop people testing on animals if you buy cruelty free stuff. But you're still supporting something and you're ma they're, they're getting money. If people continue to buy it, these companies will get money from it. And that's how it works. I just wanted to show you. So there we go. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and I shall see you again soon. Any video suggestions or anything you would like to see, let me know down below. And that's about it really. So yeah, um, see you guys soon. Bye.